While we're spending this fabulous week in San Francisco, we need to talk about one of the most important technology trends of the year, cloud computing. And who better to discuss it with than Salesforce.com CEO Mark Benioff. Mr. Benioff, welcome back to Mad Money. Jim, great to be with you in San Francisco. Yes, nice Fantastic. to be in person. The Bay Bridge behind us, what a gorgeous view. A, t- a, uh, a beautiful, well, let's see, um, boat going by us. I like that. And you're here in uh, Salesforce's headquarters building now, One Market Street. That's yeah, also very exciting, impressive. so welcome. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you for having me. Uh, Mark, you are uh, quoted as saying, business, the business of business is to improve the state of the world. Your stock is up 1,000% since we first said you should buy Salesforce. How can you reconcile those two? Well, I mean, you know, when I was in business school, I was told that Milton Friedman said the business of business is business <laughs> and, you know, stay in the guardrails. And um, I think there's been a pretty big shift, and I think that shift came from Klaus Schwab, the founder of the World Economic Forum, who said the business of business is improving the state of the world. And the way to do that is with stakeholder theory. And what that is is so simple. Well, I've got to go that, over because it's not, it yeah. may be simple to you, but not to our viewers. <laughs> well, the reason why it's so simple, Jim, is because, you know, we're talk, talk, told all the time, well, think about your shareholders. That's all that matters, your shareholders and EPS. The reality is if that's all I focused on, my company would be a disaster. The reason my company is successful is because I'm focused on my stakeholders, not my shareholders. And that's the stakeholder theory. And the stakeholder theory is you have a lot of important stakeholders that are important for your company. Your employees, your customers, your partners, the community around you, you know, all these mm-hmm. people who live here in San Francisco, for example, the environment, you know, and, uh, and a lot of other key stakeholders as well. And, you know, to really think and be successful as a CEO today, you need to think in a multi-stakeholder framework. And that's what's important, and that, that's really what drives me every single day. Oh, okay, well, you bought a company, Exact Target. Uh, famously, I had Mr. Dorsey on, and he said, listen, I hope that, that uh, Mark doesn't move all the jobs out of Indiana. Suddenly, Indiana became part of the business of improving the state of the world. Well, you're right, Jim, and we, we paid $2.5 billion for Mr. Dorsey's company, which is Exact Target Which now. is a great company, and you've integrated oh. it perfectly. Oh, my gosh, it's the best thing we've ever yeah. did, Salesforce, Hard to buy that company, and we got some great assets with that company, including Pardot, and now it's all the Salesforce marketing cloud. It moved us into marketing, which is fast-tracking to be a billion-dollar-a-year business for us. But we became the biggest tech employer in Indiana. So all the issues of Indiana became Salesforce issues because of stakeholder theory. My, my number one stakeholders are my employees. I have to do what's right for my employees. I have to advocate on their behalf. I have to be their spokesperson. I have to be the tip of the spear. And when we saw what was going down in Indiana, that they were going to be prevented from being in restaurants, you know, it was crazy. And what was I going to do? I was going to send my customers to Indiana, and then they were being told, no, you can't go to this pizza restaurant because you're gay. That, that really uh, uh, was the igniting of the stakeholder theory, which is, you know, my job at that point is just to say, hey, that's not okay with us. No, I, uh, board of have, directors, general oh, counsel... Yeah. They all, they're all in on it, so to speak, at Salesforce. They understand this concept. Well, I think a lot of people are really starting to understand yes. this concept because you saw with what happened with Indiana was it wasn't just Salesforce that said, hey, you can't do this, right. and said to the governor, Mike Pence, you need to change this law, which he did. But it was many CEOs. It was everyone from Chip Berg right here, the CEO of Levi right. Strauss, to Cummins Engine, to Eli Lilly, to Nike, to Marriott, and even... We saw uh, Doug McMillan, the CEO of Walmart, call the governor of Arkansas and say, don't do that here. Right. And that was pretty impressive. And the reason why you see CEOs doing that is those CEOs CEOs recognize something really important, which is you're an advocate for your employees. You've got to be um, uh, speaking the truth. And uh, that's that's uh, you see it more and more. That that's 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 really exciting. That's the future. I hope it's the present. (laughs) <laughs> oh, that's right. I've, look, I've got just a little time left. Uh, you, the watch, the Apple Watch, you're the first guy out there. You've got a right-sizing application. Ten-second interaction. You'll find out how your business is doing. Well, I, I'm excited about the Apple Watch. I've got mine on right here. And you're right. I can just hit this button, and I hit the Salesforce app. And look, Jim, I... Was it a good run, day? Well, you can see I'm running my business right from my wrist. I'm checking my customer service requests. I can see my analytics. I can look at everything associated with my business using the Salesforce Analytics Cloud, which is our brand new product that lets customers do business intelligence. And of course, I also have it on my 
phone right, right here. Of Which course, is your mainframe. You is that your mainframe and that your mini computer? Because I know when you got started. This could be my mainframe and my mini computer. <laughs> it could be my, I mean, it, it's amazing actually, isn't it, how computing has changed. But yes, you know, what's on my wrist today is more powerful than the computer that I learned to program on, which is only 10 miles south from here in, in Burlingame, well, California. That's a good way so, to end things. Pretty Mark, exciting. Mark Benioff, Chairman CEO of Salesforce.com. Business of business is to improve the state of the world. Mad Money's back one moment. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.